Hi, it's David here at Whitley Bay Organs and E-Pianos. This is one of our many quality part exchanges we've taken in, and this is actually a Technics, part of the Panasonic group, and it's a digital piano um, with great features to make it more interesting to play. It gives you a lot of the organ features, the home keyboard features, and it has a weighted piano feel keyboard too. Now on the screen here, when I select the piano type selections, that gives us choices of what type of real piano it's going to emulate. So if I go to the grand piano, we have four choices, a concert grand, it's a really big, big piano sound and the feel is nice too. We've got a baby grand here. Um, Mellow Grand is softer. And then the other piano, we've got an upright piano. The old Joanna. We've got a, a honk a tonk. So we've got some different sorts of pianos. Modern piano will give us a sort of the Whitney Houston. Now the nice thing about this is it's not going to just give us piano features. There's this huge array of buttons all across it but we don't need to use them all, we can make it very simple for ourselves. As what Technics have done is they've given us loads of registrations and setups that make it very easy to use without having to go into every individual sound. So if I go to um, one of the styles, on this left hand side here we have this rhythm group. Now the rhythms are the backing styles, so if I choose big band or ballad or jazz combo, it gives me on the screen a selection of different uh, styles of backings. And there's two pages in this case, I can go to page two or page one. So if I go to stride piano, it keeps it in the theme of a piano, but it will play me a backing style and it will give me some sound choices that all work very, very well with it. So if I go to stride piano, I've got four choices and they are different backing styles. But if I go to the music style arranger, that means changing between those four will give me a different voice as well. So um, some of you may be used to the Yamaha um, one-touch settings, exactly the same principle. We have a music style arranger button that gives us the OTS link, and that gives us both an upper sound and a lower chord accompaniment. So if I go to number one, I can choose an intro, and I can play my chord, and it will give me a nice intro. Banjo, two, clarinet. I just play my chord. At the end you can press ending. Really good sound, isn't it? Really good backing. Now, what we can also do on all these styles is we can have lower voices added into the, the sound, we can put fill-ins in, and there's some new um, feature on here called um, performance pads. And what these do is they add to the backing. So if I've got that simple style playing, there's my backing, okay? If I press the number one button, it will add something to the drums. Jazz guitar strumming. And that will change with my chord. I go to number two, vocals, and that will again change the chords. Number three, do bop vocals. 
couples. Now number three and um, four are the same kind of thing. Number five is a minor key solo, and number six is a major key solo. Just a little fill in, so when you're playing, you can turn your page and find the next piece you want to play. And then we get back into it again now. So there's these things that make it really easy to, to follow on with a new sound or a different song, and they're all built in. Let's go to something else now. I've got quite a good backing. If I go to the Latin section, I've got a nice one called Light Bossa Nova. Okay, now Light Bossa Nova, uh, a good accompaniment. We've got again four different backings. So I'll start with number one, which is the, the simplest uh, backing, and I'll have an intro. It's nice. A bit low there, I'll go up an octave. But I think it's a bit like the KN 6 and 7000 keyboards and if you've played this before but want the weighted keys or the bigger range of notes this is ideal for that uh, kind of playing. Let's go to the Hawaiian setting this time. This is a, another setting I found that's really great. The Hawaiian button here and again we can play in there. Let's go to the first backing and play my chord with an intro. One is called Pianist Song, and this gives us a list of uh, lots of songs that you can play, all on different pages, that we can go through to, and it will set the whole instrument up to play a specific song. The other thing we can do is we can go to the Piano Stylist, and I quite like this one. It's got two sections, Piano Styles, 
and ensemble styles. And what this will do is it will, again, set up the whole instrument to a certain genre of music. So if I go to ensemble style, these are all the categories. The first one is the group, and this relates to the type of style section, gospel and blues, country and western, um, ballroom and show, march and waltz, and each of these have lots of sort of ideas for how, what you could be playing and sort of styles of music you could be playing. So if I go to marches and waltz, let's go down to uh, German, piano, waltz, English waltz, um, Vienna waltz look we can go into. Now once we get to that page it's chosen a speed for me and it's given me four variations. This is the Vienna Celli. So if I play my chord now, it'll automatically choose an intro, it'll choose the speed, and I can play along with a nice backing. And again, four backings. Here we go. sound and it's very easy to find that without having to go into all these buttons. If you want to you can go and experiment. You've got all the separate instrument sections here, strings, brass, woodwind. We've got a panel area where we can store our best settings but the ones that are built in are, are very very good and you can use those all the time. That's what I tend to find I do. Last one I'm going to show you is called Jazz Ballad. Again it's in this piano style and silas section in my ensembles and I can go into my um, jazz backings, so let's have a look what we've got. Jazz combo, we go down to the jazz ballad one. Jazz ballad, saxy ballad, okay, bit of play on words there. We'll put our first chord on and see what it sounds like. This particular one, this is a C, um, it's a PR903. This bit has built into it, uh, I've done an upgrade, so we put onto here a USB drive. Um, they normally come with a floppy disk drive, but the USB is a little bit extra to um, allow you to use a USB memory stick rather than standard floppy disks. But it's a nice piece of furniture, it's beautiful, polished mahogany, and um, there's some great settings on there, easy to use, and a lovely piano feel and a nice piece of furniture to have in your home. There you go, I hope you found that useful.